I found the top 10 highest paying remote job companies that are almost always hiring. And I'm gonna be showing the companies as well as the jobs that they're often hiring for and how much they pay for those jobs. And the first one on the list is going to be 11 out of 11. And they claim to be Philadelphia's top content marketing and inbound lead agency. Now, one thing that's special about this agency is it is mostly women. So for my female viewers out there, there might be some job opportunities for you. It's also 100% remote, so you can work from anywhere in the world as long as you have an internet connection. And some of the positions that they often hire for are inbound marketing coordinator, HubSpot service manager, HubSpot support specialist, executive and sales assistant, and social media specialist. So I like this one a lot. I'll give it an opportunity score of eight out of 10. The next one on the list is going to be EquivityVA.com. And they are typically hiring for administrative marketing and paralegal virtual assistants. Now their virtual assistants are US based. So they're only hiring in the US. And for paralegals, they pay about $57,000 a year. For virtual marketing assistants, they pay 74,000. And for virtual assistants, they pay 49,000 a year. So yeah, this is another really good one, a little bit easier to break into some of those entry level positions. So for that reason, I'll give this one an eight out of 10 opportunity score. The next one on the list is going to be Talkspace. Now I like to include this one because a lot of the time people who watch my channel and they work in the medical field, which is where I came from, think that they cannot work remote, but there's actually a ton of remote opportunities in the medical field. And Talkspace is one of them. So you can work as a therapist, a prescriber, or an associate therapist on Talkspace. And they basically do what's known as telehealth, which is basically remote healthcare. And this is getting more and more common. And the pay here ranges from 60 to $297,000 a year, depending on your role. So yeah, this one is pretty cool. I'll give it an opportunity score of 7.5 out of 10. The next one on the list is going to be Supporting Strategies. And this is a company that specializes in providing outsourced bookkeeping or operational support services. And one of the positions they often hire for is Business Development Manager. So this is basically a position where you would go out there, find businesses that might need the service, you would establish relationships with them, and at some point down the line, you might sell them on it. So this is a company that has pretty good ratings online and the pay ranges depending on the position from 51,000 to over $160,000 a year. So yeah, this is another really good one, a little bit limited in terms of what they're often hiring for. So I'll give this one a seven out of 10 opportunity score. And by the way, before you become a business development manager, you're probably going to be a business development representative. And that typically is a position where you work in tech sales. And you can actually get into business development representative or BDR roles without a college degree or previous experience. And I've interviewed a bunch of people on this channel that have done just that. And they've all done it by using a company called Course Careers. So Course Careers is a great company. They also offer a free training, which I'll put down in the description as well as the pinned comment below. And that free training will explain everything you need to know about tech sales, the different roles you can go into and just about every question you would have. And on top of that, they also offer a cohort-based program where you're going to get industry-leading training with a bunch of other people who are also trying to get into tech sales. And you get guaranteed interviews at the end of the program when you graduate as well as a nice certificate. And if you wanna check that out, you'll get $50 off of it. And I'll put that down in the description and the pinned comment as well. The next one on the list is one of my favorite universities in the entire world, and that's WGU or Western Governors University. This is a school I've talked about many times on this channel because they allow you to actually graduate with a full bachelor's degree much faster than normal. And some of the positions they're often hiring for are product manager, senior development partner, and director of conferences and events. And those are all remote positions. And some of these positions they're hiring for range from forty-four to $74,000 a year. So yeah, definitely check these out. Can be a lot of good opportunities for you. I'll put this one at a nine out of 10 opportunity score. Now the next one on the list is going to be Twilio and they are hiring for a ton of different jobs and they hire all over the world. And this is basically a cloud-based communications platform that allows developers to build their applications efficiently. It also has pretty good ratings online. Employees seem to enjoy working there. And some of the payments here are gonna be 194,000 for software engineers, 251,000 for account executives, and that's basically like a higher level sales role, and 116,000 for sales development representatives. So yeah, lots of opportunities with this company. There's lower roles, there's higher level roles, just about anybody out there. There's also jobs all over the world. So this one is gonna get a 9.5 out of 10 opportunity score. The next one on the list is going to be Syncora, and this is actually Amerisource Bergen. 
Bitcoin, and they're basically changing their names to Syncora. And there's a lot of different global opportunities that they're offering. And Amerisource Bergen is basically a global healthcare solutions company. And like I said, they hire for a ton of different positions. There's no way I could name them all, but here's some salaries for some of them. So patient access specialists make 49,000 a year. Reimbursement counselors make 54,000. Patient service representatives makes 46,000 a year. And directors make 365,000. So yeah, a lot of opportunities with this company, both at the lower level, mid-level, and high-level roles. This one is gonna get a nine out of 10 opportunity score. The next one on the list is going to be Meta. That's right, Facebook. So this one is a bit more difficult to get into, but working at these FANG companies, these high-level tech companies, can be incredibly nice. So they're basically famous for having some of the best benefits and basically just having kind of the most cushy culture. And they also pay their employees extremely well. And Mark Zuckerberg had the quote of saying, we are going to be the most forward leaning company on remote work at our scale. And we're going to do this over time in a way that is measured, thoughtful, and responsible. So basically what Mark is saying there is he wants most of his company to be remote. Now at the time of recording this video, they are currently hiring for over 250 different positions. And there's a lot of different types of positions, but typically they are technology or business related. Now, the company overall has really good ratings online, and software engineers make $252,000 a year, research scientists make $272,000, data scientists make $245,000, product designers make $221,000, and product managers make $272,000 a year. So yeah, lots of opportunities with them. Most of the open positions that I saw were kind of like mid-level, and it's a little bit more difficult to get into these prestigious companies, but with that being said, still a really good opportunity. I'll give it an eight out of 10 opportunity score. The next one on the list is going to be Altera Health, and they focus on digital health solutions that optimize healthcare outcomes. And they are also hiring for a ton of different positions pretty much all the time. So software engineers here make 150 57,000 a year. Systems analysts make 123,000. Systems engineers make 169,000. Senior business analysts make 135,000. And associate service desk analysts make 64,000 a year. So you see they're actually hiring for a lot of lower and mid-level positions. So yeah, another really good opportunity there. I will give them an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. The next one is going to be Everize and the website is weareverize.com. Now they hire all over the world and they're currently hiring for a ton of different jobs and they focused on licensed property, casualty insurance, and healthcare representation. And as a customer service representative, you'd make about 39,000 a year. As an operations supervisor, you'd make about 59,000. As an insurance agent, you'd make about 65,000. As a supervisor, you'd make 57,000. And as a trainer, you'd make 56,000. So this is one of those companies that does have a ton of positions open at the lower levels. So for that reason, I'll give it an opportunity score of nine out of 10. Now I did another video and I didn't include any of the same companies. That is the 17 work from home job companies that are always hiring. So if you haven't checked that video out already, I definitely recommend checking that out because that'll give you a ton of other opportunities. And you can check that out by clicking right here.